welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny and today I have my father with me. Hi everyone. Guys we are at Crumble Cookies. We're doing the weekly flavors for October 9th through October 15th. Now I'm going to show you the whole total box and then I'm going to introduce each cookie separately. But guys look how beautiful these cookies look. So I'm going to ask Dad just to hold on to this box okay. for me. Okay. And I am going to introduce these cookies separately. And then we're going to taste test them. And we're going to rate them. And tell you what we like or don't like about them. But anyway, this one is the pumpkin chocolate chip cookie, guys. The pumpkin chocolate chip cookie. It's about as big as a softball, man. It's warm, the pumpkin chocolate chip cookie. This one here I'm getting ready to pick up is the the red velvet cake cookie guys the red velvet cake cookie that's how big it is this looks delicious this one so that red velvet cake cookie was warm too mm -hmm. this one's a double fudge brownie guys a double oh. fudge brownie and it is warm as well double fudge brownie double fudge brownie it's super. Yeah, it sounds good. delicious, huh? Sounds good. Okay, this is the one that brought us here today. This one is the peaches and cream cookie, guys. The peaches and cream cookie. Like I said, they're about as wrong as a softball. Now, this one's a chilled cookie. Okay. We're not going to taste test this one. We've had it before. It's the OG chocolate chip cookie, guys. The OG chocolate chip cookie. And the last one to show you is the frosted strawberry cookie oh lordy <laughs> the frosted strawberry cookie you know what i think this is where we're going to start we're going to start with this frosted yeah, strawberry good. cookie that's good let's let's move this off of your lap daddy so you don't have to balance it and all i don't really i know but that way you don't very good. That way. let's start with this frosted strawberry cake cookie guys like i said we're going to tell you what we like or don't like about them tell you if we recommend them or not you know and we're gonna rate them and if that all sounds good to you please subscribe guys show that subscribe button some love it's down below click it boop it smash it it's free it's easy and if you've already subscribed or if you don't want to subscribe we understand but can you give us a thumbs up on this video it's just the easiest way that you guys can support us it helps push our videos out there in the YouTube universe and hopefully we get more viewers and guys thank you for doing those things we love you for it we truly appreciate it don't we day very much mm -hmm. and every bit appreciate it yes and guys thank you for the respectful comments i can't say that enough i'll say it until i don't do my channel anymore thank you for the respectful comments so this frosted strawberry cookie guys i'm gonna read what they say this is it says breakfast with a pop. It's a buttery cookie packed with strawberry filling, then covered with a pool of melted chocolate chips. I'm gonna give you a close up on this. With crushed frosted strawberry pop tarts on here. And a it says flaky rainbow sugar, guys. So I'm gonna try to give you a close up, see if the camera will zoom in on it. This is what it looks like. It's pretty good. It's, it, 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 I don't know how to say it looks yeah. pretty good. <laughs> Dad said it looks pretty good. If you're new to the channel, Dad has macular degeneration, guys. It's a progressive vision loss. He can see light and he can see dark. I can't see that. But he can't make out detail. I can't make out details at all. Your field of vision is like a fog. Like yeah. a really fog. It's, it's more of a fog than anything. Okay, guys, I broke it in half, and there is a strawberry filling in here. So I'm going to hand Dad his piece. Mm -hmm. And, Dad, you don't have to finish it. If you want to, you go right ahead. we got five cookies to try. Make sure you bite in that middle part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys. Guys. I'll get one more little bite here. 
Oh my god, man. I need to find a napkin for both of us. You, you're gonna give up on it? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Mm. It's a good, it's a good strawberry tasting. So. Yes. It is a buttery cookie. It's yeah. that ooey gooey buttery cookie. That strawberry in the middle, that strawberry jam stuff is taste delicious. Yes, it's sweet. But it's not super sweet. Is it, Dad? Is it super sweet for you? I don't think it, it's sweet. Know, right? But it's not like, ooh, my teeth are going to fall out no. sweet. No. Okay? It's very good. Yeah, I can see where they meant for, for breakfast. Yeah, it's like a strawberry Pop-Tart. It tastes a lot like a strawberry Pop-Tart. Pop it has that crispy edge around the edge of the cookie, that buttery cookie. That thing is delicious. It was very good. What kind of score are you going to give it? Uh, let's explain our rating scale really quick before we start giving out scores, guys. A five or lower is that thing is garbage. Don't waste your money. Get something else. A six to a seven is, eh, we'd eat it, but we really wouldn't recommend it. Anything above a seven, we recommend. The closer it gets to a ten, we highly recommend. And guys, we rarely give out tens. We keep the tens for that special something that knocks our socks off. The thing that tastes so good, you can't imagine it tasting any better. That's a perfect 10. And guys, Dad, what score are you going to give that? I'm going to give it an 8. You're going to give it an 8? Yeah. Okay, guys. It's a tasty, it's a tasty, it's sweet cookie, and it's a, it's a, a strawberry mm -hmm. flavored, and it's always cracked to me. It's yeah. cracked up to me. If you love strawberry Pop Tarts, you're gonna you look, like you're that. gonna love this cookie, okay? You like that. It's just like putting a, a really good butter cookie and marrying it with a strawberry pop tart. And strawberry pop tarts are my favorite jam as far as pop tarts, which I have to try all the new ones that they got out. But strawberry is my original favorite, guys. This is I gotta say, I, I think I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna be honest about it. This is my favorite cookie that I have had from Crumble Cookie since I've done videos for Crumble and it's been like six or seven videos now total or six or seven times I've tried Crumble Cookie okay um it's a 10 that's a perfect 10 for me good, it's good. a perfect I'm 10 for me so it's my weird. favorite one so okay let's move on to this one dad this is the pumpkin chocolate chip now guys I'm not a pumpkin fan I'm not either we love pumpkin pie matter of fact we I had a small piece of pumpkin pie the other day with cool whip on it and it tasted great oh it's super but when you add it to like cookies cookies cakes not so much now I do like pumpkin roll and um, I like some pumpkin muffins from time to time. I like pumpkin bread from Starbucks. Uh, I do too. But you I start adding too. it into like coffee, ice cream, not so much for me. But we're going to try this pumpkin chocolate chip. This says an autumn staple. Okay, guys. It's a fluffy pumpkin spice cookie packed with semi-sweet chocolate chips. So let's break this one in two. You want to see the break? Oh, it's soft and warm. There's the break, guys. All those chocolate chips in there. Okay. It's probably going to fall in half, Dad. That part is like cracked over. I can feel it trying to break in two. Okay. One more little bite. Okay. The chocolate chips are very good in it. Okay. The pumpkin kind of gets lost. I'm tasting more like gingerbread. It just wasn't exactly what you're tasting. Exactly the same taste I get. My grandma used to make gingerbread. Like cookie? And that kind of mm -hmm. tastes like that? Gingerbread. And it was just like that. Yeah. Um, it, it, the only thing is, is the, the uh, uh, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips in it. Okay, so I tasted so. 
the pumpkin is so slight. If you blindfolded me and handed me that and asked me what flavor that was, I would say gingerbread with chocolate chips because right. that is what you're tasting mainly. Now, as I'm sitting here and talking, you know, and you know how you swallow and stuff, maybe a little bit of pumpkin in there, but I can't taste it. So for that fact alone, I kind of like it better than as if I would taste the pumpkin really strong. So, man, what kind of score are you going to give that one, Dad? This one's rough for me. I'm it tastes good. It, the I'm chocolate's good. It a savor. It's a good flavor. It, it's... <laughs> this is I, I, it, It's deceiving yeah. in a way. I know. But score for what you taste. Mm. How good it tastes to you. It tastes good. It eight. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to argue with them. Guys, it tastes good. If I'm scoring it towards what it is, it, they're, they're saying it's a pumpkin chocolate chip. I don't know. It tastes more like gingerbread to me, and I'm not mad at that. It tastes like gingerbread cookie, a really soft gingerbread cookie with really good chocolate chips in it. And and that's what it tastes it like. It tastes like to me, too. And the flavor of it, I really liked. Um, I do, too. <laughs> I did, too. Um... I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to be reserved like that. I'm going to give it an 8. It's a good cookie, but don't get that thinking the pumpkin's going to knock you out. It's not going to knock you out. You're going to taste more of a spice, more like gingerbread type flavors, but I think you're going to taste in that. The chocolates, chocolate chips yeah. is loaded with chocolate chips. They're really yeah. good. Okay, Day. I think we should do this peaches and cream one. This is what we came here for. Yeah. <laughs> I and saw this one. I on like the, peaches. I like cream and the, the peaches and uh, everything. Yeah. I saw this one on the menu and I'm like, we got to definitely do crumble this week. So I like peaches. apples and, and peaches. Yeah, you like everything fruit. like fruit. Like, fruit. yeah, like fruit pies and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, peaches and cream. It's served chilled, guys. A chilled peach sugar cookie. Finished with fresh whipped cream and a delicious peach topping, guys. I'm going to give you the closest close-up I can give you of this. That's about how thick it is. It's chilled. And I'm going to try to break it in half. And that's the hard part, guys, trying to break it in half. I'm going to give Dad the big piece. <laughs> It's a chilled cookie. I'm sticking my finger all in the whipped cream. Mm. It definitely is whipped topping. Okay. It's got a, a peach like, it's not like jam. It's like peach pie filling. And the sugar cookie is chilled. So it's got that little bit of a mm -hmm. cool chill to it. This thing's really good. <laughs> this is... You want to keep eating it, don't you? You know this. That is super good. That's really good, guys. <laughs> that, uh, gosh. Um... You want a little drink of coffee while you try to figure yeah. out how you're going to score that. So be careful. I got it flipped open here, Day. He's got some black coffee. Right right there's the the hole and everything's right facing towards you. I got Dad black coffee. I got me coffee with my creamer in it. Mm-mm-mm. Mm Oh boy. So, the peaches and cream. The cream is like good whipped cream, homemade whipped cream on top of there. The peaches are sweet, but they're not too sweet. Okay. And the sugar cookie. The sugar is cookie right. is chilled. It has got a good chew to it. It's it's a it's a winner. <laughs> it's a winner. What score are you gonna give that peaches and cream cookie, Dad? I've got a nine and a half. Nine I have to half? have to give it nine and a half. Yeah. Um I like that strawberry cookie just a little bit more than this. But this is very good. 
I'm gonna give it a nine point a nine point five as well. It's a very good. It's a cookie. good. It's a good cookie. It's like my second favorite from Crumble right now. My first favorite is that strawberry one. My second favorite is that peaches and cream one. If I see those come up on the menu ever again, I'll have to do those videos because those two are good. Those are go there. Those for, are there's a winner. Those are oh, there's a winner. They're good. I don't know. These chocolate ones might be good. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do the red velvet cake or a cupcake one. If it doesn't break in two, guys, I'm reaching as far as I can with my left arm. Okay. This is a red velvet cupcake cookie. It's red velvet cookie topped with a swirl of delicious vanilla cream cheese frosting and a sprinkle of crumbled red velvet cookies on top. It's got a crumble on the top. That's how thick it is, guys. <sighs> I have a feeling. This is served warm as well. I'm going to give Dad the smaller piece because I, I just have a... Okay, Dave. Okay. I, get I know I got my left hand and <laughs> my left hand wasn't going good. Mm. That cream cheese frosting is so sweet. It mm -hmm. tastes good, but it is so sweet. I gotta pause on that. That's sweet as heck. I'm gonna quit on that. <laughs> it's super sweet. It tastes good though, okay? It is good. <laughs> Very good. So, the red velvet cookie has got a little bit of a chocolatey hint to it, okay? And that cream cheese frosting is super sweet, but it tastes good, okay? You could tell it's cream cheese frosting. It's nice and creamy, silky, the things you want cream cheese frosting to be. But it's a good cookie. I mean, if you like red velvet cake, you're going to love that cookie, okay? Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. But does it knock my socks off? Not really. Does it interest me a lot? Not really. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It, it's okay. It's a really good cookie. Yeah, I wouldn't turn it down. Somebody got it for me, I'd eat it. It's good. Yeah. You know what I mean? But does it interest me a lot? Not really. Okay? What score are you going to give that one? I hate, to, I hate to give these a bad... You give it the score for what you like it for. It's just so-so for you. I mean, it's worth... I mean... It's it's an eight and a half. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give it an eight. It's a very good cookie. It just doesn't interest me that much. I recommend it. All the good cookies, all these cookies are great. Yeah. Uh, don't, yeah. don't get me wrong. Yeah. I would not turn down in, any of those mm -hmm. cookies. But what would you take a dozen of? No. The peaches and cream one? I would. <laughs> You would take a dozen of features of cream, one up. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay, one more cookie, guys. One more cookie. Let me find it on my list here. Oh, goodness. This one. The sun's going to shine it out, guys. It is the double fudge brownie cookie, guys. It's served warm. It's a thick brownie cookie topped with a glossy chocolate glaze and freshly baked brownie bites on top guys the sun is washing it out big time but it does have a glossy chocolate glaze on top and the brownies let's break this one in two. Ooh, it almost looks like almost like a lava i can't you're not gonna be able to see it but i see like chocolate inside oh yeah. goodness Oh, goodness, here. <laughs> it tastes just like a brownie. Ooh. It is. It's exactly like a brownie. It is. <laughs> It tastes exactly like what it is. Mm -hmm. 
Like a gooey brownie. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I gotta pause too, man. I think we to do. That sugar is gonna. Whew. Okay. It tastes like a ooey gooey brownie. I went in my kitchen. I slapped my brownie mix together because I don't make homemade brownies. I make the kind you buy in a box, right, guys? You had to uh, boil in the eggs and bake it. It tastes like an ooey gooey brownie that I made in my kitchen. It is really good. Now, I love chocolate. It's got a really good chocolate taste. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's a good cookie. Now, does it excite me? Not so much. It doesn't excite me. It's, it's the same old, same old. You know, you've had brownies a million times in your life. It is a good cookie, though. Mm. It is a very tasty cookie. <laughs> What's where you giving it, Dad? <laughs> I, I wish I'd give them all of them. I know, but you can't. But as far as you liking it, what score would you give it? I like them all, but I, I, I had to pick on any one. Yeah, just give this one. This you're thinking about this chocolate, this uh. Double fudge brownie. Just give it the score for the double fudge brownie. What score would I would just be like you? I would I would uh, go on a, on a daily basis. We see a a brownie fudge open. It's the same same double fudge. Yeah. It's a simple fudge and the same thing, same thing all the time. Mm -hmm. It's hard, ain't it? <laughs> It is hard. It's very difficult. Okay. I had to. I had you want me? To, you want me to go first, and then I'll explain. Yeah. Kind of, that way you can kind of. It's a hard one, guys. I recommend it. If you like chocolate fudge brownie gooey yeah. ooey gooey cookies, this is for you. It tastes very good. It I like it. it. Okay. It is, it is, I like it. it. But I'm gonna say that it's not exciting me. Okay. It, it tastes like any homemade brownie that you've had before a million times in your life. That's what it tastes like. And if that, that's what you like, get it, okay? As far as, like, originality and tasting, like, something I haven't tasted before or exciting me, I can't give it that kind of score. Um, I'm going to give it a score of an 8. I think it's a solid 8. I think, if, like I said, if you like a fudge brownie you like everything chocolate get that cookie that's for you okay that's just the easiest way I can I'd, say it. I'd have to agree with her but I would upgrade it okay. to eight, eight and a half okay. eight and a half I mean tomorrow you might catch me and I'm in a chocolate mood and I would think that was a 10 but yeah. today it's just not it's not exciting me and I'd, I think maybe because of, we've already ate that peaches and cream and we were excited about that we ate that strawberry one, oh, and I was excited about that. So then this fudge brownie comes along, and I'm like, give me the strawberry one. Give me the peaches and cream one, because those are my two favorite. Yeah. And like I said, I'm going to do That's too much. That's really a my two favorite, yeah. too. So that, that countdown is for me. That strawberry, mm -hmm. that frosted strawberry is my number one. Is the peaches and cream your number what? one? And what is? The peaches and cream, is that yeah. your number one? So the frosted strawberry is my number one. The, pe the peaches and cream is dad's number one. And I think we're vice versa. The peaches and cream is my second one. And is the strawberry one your second one? I think so. So we're kind of vice versa. Okay. I like the chocolate fudge, double fudge. You like that one too? <laughs> I do. They were all good, guys. I do. They were all good. I do. I do. I love all of them. They were all good. Are you ready to let these guys go? I would. I've got so much sugar in me right I now. I have to. We just took bites, guys. We just I, took I bites. I said and eat all of uh, all most, uh, most all that uh, uh, peaches and cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't want to put it down, did you? No. That's how I was with the strawberry one. Anyway, guys, we're going to let you go. We hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow, and God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow, bye-bye. Bye-bye.